Hi, I'm Mr. Mike with SVSF Center, and today we will be doing an awesome hands-on science activity. Now, today's activity involves making a do-it-yourself helicopter. Now, real-life helicopters stay in the air by using spinning blades that are used to generate what we call lift. Now, for this activity, the students will be able to take a helicopter template that's provided to them and turn it into a working paper helicopter. These helicopters can overcome gravity with enough lift. Now, lift is the aerodynamic force produced by the motion of an aircraft through the air. Now, before every activity that we do, we always want to make sure that the students walk away with something. Make sure that we have takeaways. Now, in this activity, students will be able to do the following. Students will be able to understand and explain gravity. Now, gravity is the force that pulls objects with mass towards another object with a greater mass. For example, us walking on Earth. Now, we, they also are going to walk away and understand that they will be able to experiment with the design of a helicopter to see what changes make the helicopter more or less successful. Now before we begin with anything, we need to go over the following materials for the paper helicopter activity. Now each kid will receive their uh, summer science kit that will have everything that they need. So no need to move around to find the materials, they'll be right in front of them in their kit box. Now they will be receiving cutouts, similar to this, that will already be cut out for them. As you can see, we have different instructions. We have dotted lines on where to fold and solid lines on where to cut. Now, I will cover more in depth on how to uh, facilitate and teach the process of creating the helicopter, but keep in mind that some students may not have the same cutting skills as other students, so it may take them a little longer. So just please uh, be patient with that and also find it easier to uh, create your own at the same time. So you will always get a lesson plan that has everything step by step in case you have any other questions. And it contains a template so that you at home would be able to create one as well along with the student. Now materials, like I said, they will be getting cutouts just like this. We'll be giving them multiple so that they can experiment and try with others. You'll be getting paper clips. And that is it for this activity. Oh, and they will also be getting scissors and crayons to color, because you know, we gotta make it fun and have an art component to it. So first off, what they're going to do when we are, have all of our materials ready is they're going to begin cutting. Now, when they're cutting these, they are going to um, make sure that they are following the dotted, the dotted line for folding, and they're going to be cutting the solid line. But before we get to the cutting part, I want you to uh, be able to explain to them what lift is. I want them to understand that with just enough of that, the craft can overcome the force of gravity. Because lift is that, once again, the aerodynamic force that is produced by the motion of an aircraft through the air. So while we're uh, facilitating, the kids are working, whether it is coloring their aircraft or cutting it, let's try to see if that they can get as much terminology as possible so that they walk away knowing exactly how airplanes fly in the sky, how helicopters fly in the sky, so that they can go and tell other people what they've learned. Now, for the steps of cutting them are pretty straightforward. We want to make sure that they cut along these solid lines of the diagram and have them follow the instructions while folding the helicopter. So, while they're holding the helicopter, they're going to first cut all those solid lines, like I've said, then they're going to fold A toward you. So A is right here. You're going to fold that toward you. So I'm folding it towards myself. And then B, which you see right there, B, will be towards their camera. So when you have that folded, then what you're going to do is you are going to take C and D, C and D right there. You're going to fold that and then you're going to take the little flap and fold that up just like that just to kind of close it. So right there you have your helicopter. Now while they're cutting it you can have them color it because I know they want to have a little bit of flair to it. Try not to spend too much time coloring it but use your best judgment depending on timing of what they can do to design their vehicle because that's the part that they always like the most. Now when they are all done with the cutting process you're going to take this helicopter and you're going to instruct them to hold the helicopter by the bottom and throw it like a baseball as high as they can and then ask them what happens. So I like to have them do this 
and have them step back a little bit so that they can show you on the camera what they're doing and also see if they're doing it correctly. So it should look something like that. I like to start from the top like right here and then just drop it and you can see the helicopter propel and go down like that. And this is where you start to ask the question, what happened? Why are we achieving this? Is it because of uh, gravity? Is this why it's able to fall down? You can throw in lift and throw in the other terms that we were talking about earlier. So we're not done with this because they can also take a paper clip and see what the difference is when they add a paper clip to here. And you can start inquiring and asking them what they think it is. Does the weight of this make it go faster or does it make it go even slower? The, for better use, what I like to do is I like to do two at the same time. I like to do one with a paper clip, just like that, one without. Take them, same distance apart, same height. Now, as we can see, the one that was heavier went down faster with the paper clip than the one without. Now encourage the kids to have some fun with this, tinker with it. They can put anything they want at the end of this. Kids have the greatest minds in the world. They could think of like putting a chip clip or something. Have them be creative. Like I said, if you need any more assistance and you want to uh, learn more, everything is in here for you. We have from breaking down of what it should look like, um, examples, what you can talk to the kids, prompts. I hope this uh, video was very helpful, and uh, thank you so much for uh, being a part of our summer program, and I hope you have a great day.